Greetings, greetings, remnant brothers and sisters, viewers and subscribers. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I come to you today with a strong word from the Lord, a strong word. Bless the name of Jesus. This word was given to my nine-year-old daughter, who turns 10 tomorrow. Anna, my youngest daughter, bless the name of Jesus. I will tell you what the word is, how it happened. But before I do that, God have a problem. I'm saving the strong word for the end that came directly from the Lord. God have a problem, my brothers and sisters. This is the problem. Bless the name of Jesus. Isaiah 59. 59. Let's start at verse 2, real quick. It says, Lord, bless and sanctify your words unto our hearts even now. In Jesus' name, amen. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. My brothers and sisters, Remember I told you the open vision um, this little girl, another sister of mine had. She was sitting in her chair about a week ago and she saw a funny looking man with tall, ugly fingernails and he had people gathering around him like an army and he was saying, rip the church, rip the church. Rip means tear apart the church. Bless the name of Jesus. Hear what is happening. Verse 2, Isaiah 59. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you. That he will not hear. Because of the sins of his people. He has to turn away his face. My God Almighty, he has hid his face. Verse 3, for your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Underline this word, lies, lies. Your tongue had muttered perverseness. You hear you, you, you what verse 4 says? None call it for justice. Justice means... Um, you know, doing good, doing righteousness, or we treat each other, a rightful act. None call it for justice, nor plead for truth. None is crying out for truth. This is, this is about the body of Christ at this time. None call it for truth. They trust in vanity. The body of Christ at this time, trust in vanity. Bless the name of Jesus. And speak lies. Here it goes again. God have a problem, my brothers and sisters, with lies. Lies. The biggest problem now is lies. A time of great deception in every era of the kingdom. From the pulpit, the music, in the, the gospel music industry, all over. Lies. Bless the name of Jesus. They convince, they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Let's jump over to verse 13 because I'm not going to make this video too long. I'm going to deliver the message, that the, the word that the Lord gave my youngest daughter, Anna. Verse 13 says, In transgression, sorry, in transgressing and lying against the Lord. You hear this? Hear the word again, lying. And lying against the Lord and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of false wood. Words of false wood. This is happening in the body of Christ at this time. Lies after lies after lies. Oh God, bless the name of Jesus. And so, 
hear what happened yesterday when we were in gathering yesterday was a day where i called for a mandatory fa um, fast we were set out yesterday to go into fasting and prayer that was what we were about most of yesterday's gathering fasting and prayer bless the name of jesus and while we were in prayer yesterday a small group of us our group is very small and while we were seeking the face of the lord bless the name of jesus my youngest da daughter anna she was concerned because i was still you know before we pray i was talking to them about where we're at and stuff that is happening at this time you know me and um I was reminding them of what the little girl experienced at open vision. This funny looking man, tall fingernails, walking around, rip the church with his army. Let us rip the church. And so when we were to um, praying, the first session of prayer or, or, or the first series of prayer, when we were to praying, Anna raised her hand and I acknowledge her. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Jesus. Anna, I acknowledge her and she started talking, but everyone couldn't hear what she was saying. So I called her up the front and I said, Tell us what you have to say, what you have to say. And she said, Here's what she said. She says, while I was praying, I was crying out to God. This is my nine-year-old daughter. She says, I was crying out to God on behalf of the remnant. I was crying out to God. I was asking God, God, keep us together. Keep us. Have mercy upon us. She, she said she was crying out, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon the remnant. Keep us together. My brothers and sisters, I'm getting emotional. And while she, she said she was crying out to God, help me, Holy Spirit. She said she heard the voice of God as the Lord started to speak. And she said to us, this is what the Lord says. Hear this, my brother, brothers and sisters. She said, the Lord says that my people are disappearing out of my presence. Let me repeat that one more time. The Lord says, my people are disappearing from out of my presence. And because of this, as they are disappearing out of my presence, food will disappear from their presence also. She said when she heard that, she said she was there and she was struggling. She was talking to us and Anna said, I was struggling because I didn't understand what he mean when he says uh, the same way oh, it, the people are disappearing from his presence is, this, is the same way food will be disappearing from their presence. She said she was struggling. She didn't understand. And she said the, law, the last, help me Holy Spirit. She said the last word that she heard from the Lord at the end was famine. While she was there struggling, she heard the Lord spoke the last word, famine. Hear the message, my brothers and sisters. Hear this. This is prophetic. What the Lord shared with Anna, this information. Brothers and sisters, help me pray for Anna. There's something about this child. 
Bless the name of Jesus. The Lord says, my people are disappearing out of my presence. And likewise, food will be disappearing from their presence. My brothers and sisters, when I heard the word yesterday, when the group heard the word yesterday, we start giving the Lord thanks because God has spoken. This word is a strong word. I'm not going to be pretending it doesn't sound nice. But what I can understand is that from the Old Testament coming up, each time Israel turns away from God to another God. Each time Israel pollutes itself. The more Israel goes deeper and deeper into sin, famine always follow. Whenever the church of the living God, God's people, backslide and, and turn away from God, leave from out of the presence of God, Bless the name of Jesus. Famine always follow. My brothers and sisters. And the only encouraging thing that I got from out of this message from the Lord. To honor. Who shared with us. Is this. He says, my people are disappearing from my presence and because of this food will disappear from their presence no that's a that's a set of people this is talking specific those who are disappearing those who won't be in his present presence what that is saying to me my brothers and sisters and i share with you is that those of us who remain in the presence of the Lord, our bread will be sure. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. I've done quite a few videos about how paramount the presence of the Lord is, oh God, in his presence. Lies after lies, deception after deception, is ripping the church apart, my brothers and sisters. Lies coming from the pulpit. The leaders of today, not generalizing, but so many of our leaders, lies after lies after lies, and the people love to have it so. Because when the lie comes from the pulpit, you 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 find where where believers can change them change themselves. They can dress down a bit, you know. They can show more, more skin, you know. You know, it's okay to 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 drink this. It's okay to smoke that, you know. Nothing is wrong with going to the casino, you know, and 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 and, and try your luck. You know, just make, just remember to throw your offering, you know, when, when the Lord bless you. So many deception. They tell you that the, 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 the so many pastors encouraging, it's happening still. It's okay to follow the, the S word. It's okay. It's okay to drink the apple juice. It's okay. And what is happening, my brothers and sisters? God says to my little girl, my people are disappearing out of my presence. So what is coming, my brothers and sisters, is that, bless the name of Jesus, the Lord says, likewise, food, be careful. If you're out there and you're not yet saved, it's time to get right with God. Because no matter how blessed you are, no matter the account 
your account, your job, no matter your status, no matter how, 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 how pack your store bar, your store basket is. If you're not in the presence of God, swiftly, food will be disappearing. If you're a believer playing church, if you're a believer that is in a church organization or in a church and you know that it's a church where lies after lies continue to flow from the pulpit. You know it's a church that compromise. You know that there are many things wrong about that church where you're at. And you continue to sit there and, 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 and give a blind eye to the truth. Bless the name of Jesus. You're in trouble. Food will be disappearing. A lot of people believe that they're in the presence of the Lord. A lot of pastors and ministers, musicians who just go to church to play because they are skillful in playing. So many of us in the body of Christ fooling ourselves that we are in the presence when we are not. So many are deceived that they are anointed and they are, they are, they are, they are appointed and they are anointed and they are in the will of God when they are not in the presence. This is a warning, my brothers and sisters. Because the reality is, you're watching this video and you're not, you know you're not right. Some don't know because the, 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 their conscience is sneered with at iron. And so no matter their lifestyle, they cannot acknowledge that they are not saved. Some, many, their conscience are sneered with at iron. So, so no matter what. They do anything and believe that they are okay because they have deceived their very own selves. Living a lie. I close with Psalms 91 verse 4, my brothers and sisters. Here is how important truth is. Here is how important truth is. David says in Psalms 91 verse 4, He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shall thou trust. Hear this. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. I often think, you know, just like in the hotels where you have butlers. The ones that, you know, even read about the story with Pharaoh. Um, when, when, when the baker and the butler, you know, because what I always think of alone is that the butler is a butler is a person that serves, you know, whatever you want at a hotel, you know, you're a king, whatever you request. I believe Nehemiah, you know, was that role in his time, you know, before he went back to rebuild the wall, that, that butler role. But yesterday, in gathering, when, 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 when one of the sisters um, researched this word butler, it also shows you that, you know, there's, there's another thing towards this word butler. A butler is, 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 a, is, a, is like a suit, a protective, um, 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 you know, suit, a, a, a special suit that, that covers the entire body for war. And I was blown away because I, I didn't know that. That, you know, the, the butler also is, is, is a protective suit. You know, it, it's designed to cover the body for protection. Bless the name of Jesus. And so, and so, with understanding that, what David was saying is truth shall be thy shield. And so no matter the next pandemic, no matter the next pandemic, his truth shall be thy shield. No matter, bless the name of Jesus, 
the kind of war that comes when the, 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 the buttons will be pressed is truth shall be thy shield. In the midst of the earthquake is, is oh God Almighty, is truth shall be thy shield. No matter the height of the tsunami, is truth shall be thy shield. In the midst of famine, is truth shall be thy shield. Ah, bless the name of Jesus. And buckler. My brothers and sisters, where we are now and where we are, where we are going in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks, in a matter of months, let us ensure that in his truth, we are in his presence. Because food will be disappearing, my brothers and sisters, from those who are out of his presence. I close. Lord, I thank you for this word. I thank you for your hand that is upon Anna. Bless the name of Jesus. I thank you for this prophetic word. I pray that this word will go forth with power and the anointing that will break yokes. Oh, man abroad, Lord God. I pray that this word will bring conviction to the body of Christ. That it will, Lord God Almighty, propel us to get it right with you now, God. I pray for those who are not in your presence, those who are, who are, who are not saved, those who have never been, Lord Jesus Christ, water baptized, they have never repented of their sins and come to you. I pray that you will help them to get it right, to accept you now. I pray for those, the believers in the body of Christ who have deceived them, their own selves, that we will run to you, run to the secret place, that we will be in your presence and you'll keep us safe until the storm passes by. Bless us, watch over us, prosper us, sustain us, preserve us, protect us, provide for us, supply all our needs according to riches in glory. In Jesus' name I pray to the thanks. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Share this word. Share this word. God bless you.